uh, and uh, oh, this one, yes, uh, entitled Semantic Recommendations of Books Using Recurrent Neural Networks um, by Melania Nitsu, Stefan Rusetti, Mihai Daskalu, and Silvia Tomescu. And the presenter will be uh, Melania Nitsu. Uh, Melania, uh, are you okay with recording this presentation? Hi, yes, of course. Okay, good, thank you. So uh, I will now leave the screen to you, as uh, Mihai said. Uh, as, um, give the floor is uh, no longer an accurate uh, <laughs> expression. So uh, please, Melania. One moment, please, I'm sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, perfect. Okay, uh, so first of all, thank you for, uh, for the introduction. Uh, today I will um, introduce to you the paper called Semantic Recommendations of Books Using Recurrent Neural Networks. Uh, this is the agenda of today's presentation. We will cover the main points of the paper. We will start with um, an introduction. We will go through existing approaches. We will see the method for the proposed solution, followed by the results, and we'll uh, summarize the uh, essence of the study with the conclusions uh, and link up with future work. I'm sorry for this. Um, so nowadays, uh, the digital library services are evolving to meet the reader's need to find personalized um, recommendations when searching through a wide range of books. Um, this led to the development of uh, modern recommenders that use neural network models to address tasks such as uh, writing style recognition, sentiment analysis, or text classification. A survey published by um, Al Harty shows that the exploitation of books um, in recommendation uh, in recommenders, uh, the textual content of the books is limited. Uh, most research uh, in the domain is based on extracting books metadata, such as the author or the title, and only a few systems consider the actual books content. The main reason um, for the small rate of research on the text content is that it might raise uh, copyright issues. In order to encourage the researchers to expand their work uh, in this direction, some initiatives were adopted. For example, um, there is um, one example for uh, Google Books that receives um, books from their authors through a program named uh, Google Books Partner Program. Uh, and it makes available searches in the full text of books um, for terms that appear in the input query. A very similar project is the Hathi Trust Digital Library, which allows users to search in the actual book's content. On the other hand, um, we have the commercial recommenders that apply NLP techniques on the book's text. An example of such is uh, Booklamp, which was um, acquired by Apple in 2014. In this paper, we introduce a content-based recommender uh, designed for Romanian books, where the recommendation problem is constructed as a text classification task to predict the author um, of the books, as well as the title of the book, starting from a text paragraph. Although um, there are several well-performing recommendation systems, they are not achieving uh, good results on OCR PDF books. The current paper proposes a method for um, books recommendation by training a recurrent neural network on a different task, uh, which is to predict the book in which uh, a paragraph appears. We performed a comparative study on uh, the two frequently um, employed RNN architecture, a great um, gate recurrent um, unit and long short term memory. Uh, the system is built as a text classification problem using the pre-trained uh, word embedding, uh, fast text, Basically, um, our content-based recommender is a classifier that learns uh, similarities and correlations between um, items where the content represents the title, the summary, an outline, um, or, or even the entire book, as well as the book metadata, such as the author. 
uh, here we are summarizing a few of the most representative recommenders that use um, textbook um, textual book uh, content uh, to provide recommendations. Uh, in the first method, um, the authors considered uh, features like uh, vocabulary richness, uh, document length, or uh, the most frequent words. Uh, the books were uh, represented using um, topics um, extracted, obtained uh, by applying LDA, Latin Dirichlet Allocation. This was uh, useful for um, authorship attribution by finding uh, patterns of word occurrences. The gain of this method was um, the use of stylometric features to predict the authors, while the inconvenient um, was that um, for similar writing styles, the system will recommend books on different subjects or areas, and uh, it turned out this approach had a low performance when it came to provide recommendations. The second approach uh, considers the whole text content of the book. Um, authors are represented here as a four-layer tree where the uh, root node contains the author biography, the second level node contains uh, books written by the author um, of, from the parent note, the third level represents pages um, of that book, and um, the bottom level contains books paragraphs. Uh, in this approach, the uh, similarity of books is measured uh, using the notes from the second to the fourth level. Uh, the gain um, was the use of a multi-layer self-organizing map, meaning that the system considered um, word spatial distribution. This brings an improvement of approximately 3% uh, in terms of precision compared to other state-of-the-art uh, methods. The major inconvenient was represented by the uh, issues uh, with the uh, system scalability. And uh, the third research considers books metadata, such as title, um, authors, or summary. Uh, the systems also collect collaborative, uh, collaborative um, filtering um, features, like the user's reviews. Uh, the model considered uh, the bag of words uh, representation for books, um, and um, it relied on a naive base uh, classifier. The advantage here uh, was the use of uh, collaborative content that increased the performance for that point in time. We can see that the study was performed in 2000. So this was a reference research back then. Um, while the dis disadvantage is that when compared to current approaches, the system has low performance. So back then 70% accuracy was a high performance, but now with the latest um, systems we exceeded uh, we exceeded 80% accuracy. Going further to our proposed method, we introduce a content-based recommender um, for Romanian language books designed for um, as a text classification problem to predict similar books given um, a text paragraph or a text snippet. Uh, the reference documents, um, as I previously said, are old and were digitized via uh, optical character recognition, a process that can generate um, noise in the conversion. So the current prototype version um, is trained on a corpus of OCR books, which are split into uh, the corresponding paragraphs. We trained the bidirectional uh, RNN model consid uh, considering two um, architectures having LSTM or GRU cells over a pre-trained pre fast text embedding. Our preliminary corpus was provided by the Central University Library of Bucharest and it consists of 50 OCR books in PDF format written in uh, Romanian language. This uh, collection of unformatted PDFs so with broken layout formats, um, residual error, raised several challenges um, in the paragraph extraction phase, which led to the development of an extraction pipeline to improve um, and structure the text from the uh, OCR books. We have created a um, paragraph extractor tool uh, to automate the processing and extraction task. The extracted paragraphs are further fed to the classifier. Um, the workflow of the preprocessing tool consists of three main parts. Uh, first, the tool cleans the content by removing the unused text, such as the table of contents, preface, forward, or the editor's notes. Second, uh, the tool is focused on uh, paragraph detection. 
the reconstruction of broken paragraphs and um, merger of hyphenated words. Paragraphs boundaries um, were identified using a list of um, delimitators. And um, the, third, um, the third section is um, the uh, actual extraction of paragraphs in a format and structure that is specific for, uh, for our classifier. So we prepare the data to be fed to the neural network. Each, each paragraph uh, is uh, vectorized uh, then in, um, in a manner that preserves uh, word order. This uh, results in a sample of approximately 18,000 paragraphs ex uh, extracted from 50 different books. The input sample suffers from a high degree of class imbalance because the length of the books varies from a few pages to hundreds. Therefore, we only selected uh, the books having from 250 to 2200 uh, extracted fragments. So we basically captured the majority of books without uh, causing a serious class imbalance among the shorter books. For the classification tasks, um, pre-trained word embeddings are often used to initialize the model. In our experiment, we use a fast text uh, pre-trained embedding and we converted the previous extracted paragraphs uh, into word embeddings. Fast text embedding consists of 2 million word vectors trained on Common Crawl and Wikipedia and is an extension of word to vec model. Um, fast text considers the subwords by representing each word as an n-gram of characters instead of directly learning uh, the vector representations from words. The major benefit um, of using fast text consists of its capability to generate embeddings for words that do not exist in the training set. So if you are wondering how it can uh, do that, um, it's adding the character engrams of all the engram representations. Here we have uh, an overview of our model architecture. We consider the bidirectional uh, LSTM and GRU architecture to capture the long-term uh, relationships in a sequence. So we have the input layer, which consists of text paragraphs, the embedding layer, which consists of the fast text pre-embedding, uh, pre-trained pre embedding, the recurrent layer with uh, LSTM and GRU cells, also, we added a text CNN layer, but it did not improve the prediction accuracy due to the uh, small size of our data set. Uh, therefore, we removed um, the CNN layer. Uh, we have replaced uh, the CNN layer with uh, a global max pooling layer that helped us to reduce the dimensionality of the feature map by computing the uh, maximum value of each patch. And the last layer in our model is a dense layer that computes the dot product between the inputs um, and uh, the kernel, which helps us uh, to reshape the tensor to produce the final prediction. Another thing to mention here is the train test validation ratio. We split the data set in 80-10-10, um, 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 meaning that 80% of the data was assigned for training, 10% uh, to test, and 10% to validation. As a side note, uh, the more paragraphs are extracted and fed to the classifier, the better the performance will be. So the system will provide better recommendations. Um, the, out, um, the outline of, uh, of this is um, the direct correlation between the number of text fragments and the accuracy of the model. We can visualize this in the graphic um, on the left. We can see that from the extracted paragraph data set, we only selected the books that contained at least uh, 250 paragraphs to correct the um, class imbalance. The table reports the model accuracy for different configurations and values of, of the hyperparameters. We can compare the performance of the bidirectional GRU and LSTM models. Um, so although the LSTM attained similar results, um, in terms of accuracy, uh, it attained 88.75%. The bidirectional GRU model outperformed the LSTM architecture, achieving 89.71 accuracy. So the best accuracy was achieved uh, for an architecture with GRU cells, uh, with a parameterization of 0.25 dropout rate, 45 epochs, and the hidden layer size of 256. 
This is an expected result, so considering the small number of samples uh, in our data set and the less complex structure of, uh, of a GRU cell compared to an LSTM cell, which has an additional uh, memory unit. To sum up, uh, this paper presented a content-based recommender formulated as a text classification task. The classifier was trained to predict the book uh, given a small snippet of text. In order to predict the book, the model needs to construct a relevant uh, representation uh, for a given paragraph, which is later used for book recommendations. We explored the performance of two recurrent uh, neural network architectures. The results showed that the bidirectional GRU model outperformed the LSTM architecture with an accuracy of about 90%. The advantage of our method is that it behaves very good on OCR uh, processed documents and it only requires unlabeled books to um, learn text representations. As future directions, um, we'll consider to add an extension module for the authorship identification based on stylometry technique where the neural networks can learn the author uh, writing style. Also, we will introduce a collaborative recommendation mechanism based on users' ratings. The system should predict uh, a user rating for an item based on the um, average ratings provided by other users with similar profile ratings. These uh, approaches will be combined um, in a hybrid recommender system based on both um, content-based recommendations and collaborative filtering approaches. Um, in order to produce a better uh, system for literary book recommendations. Thank you very much for your attention. If there are any questions, so please feel free to address them. And I will stop my screen sharing for now. Thank you, Melania. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? Um, then I would like to ask you something. Um, would it be possible to apply your method also for a direct, for, for a, uh, an educational context, something which is directly related to education, such as for um, learning resources instead of whole books? Yes, of course. We can uh, recommend any, any type of um of documents or of, of resources using this architecture. Um, and moreover, with the collaborative filtering approach, we can also involve the um, user's um, feedback, the user's review, the user's interactions, but this is uh, in the module that uh, will be added. So for the, with, the, with the current um, architecture, we can, um, we can try to recommend different um, resources. But is there a minimum size re, um, required for the document? No, no. there is no, there is no uh, limitation here. Okay. If there are no further questions, okay, then uh, thank you one more time, uh, Melania. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank everyone for um, joining us for attending this session. And now I think uh, we have about uh, 40 minutes.